Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play The Witch in the Hundred Night. So, um, I'm gonna catch you up on what happened. Because I did skip it. Um, I didn't see, honestly, some of the scenes too prevalent. Um, you just kind of learn a little bit of backstory. Not much, though. Not really. Um, you learn the main points I think I can get across is you learn that Lucini knew from the start that the world was going to end up destroyed. And um, he had a vision of a witch name, uh, of a, something called the Swamp Witch. So he waited for her to appear so he could join her. So he knew from the start that things that this was going to turn out how it did. Um, he thought the Swamp Witch would be the key to stopping it, but in his basically clairvoyance, he didn't see her doing anything. So this is why I guess things went how they did. Um, there was a point uh, in... Um, in um, her teenage years, I, I want to say teenage, maybe, maybe just like a little girl, uh, not like tiny girl, but like 12, 11, um, well, whatever that is for witches, uh, Metalia was hospitalized, um, never explained for what reason, honestly, in the cutscene, um, but it's just people, more people bullying her, basically, because she's, she was, um, like, coddled. And, um, what else? Oh, well, let's get to the meat of what this chapter was all about. Because we did finish chapter 12, which was the one we were on. Um, uh, so chapter 12 basically had you looking for distortions. Uh, you, you made it to this world, this world that Met Metallica created to find different distortions to break the world apart and um, basically use the pieces to restructure our world, our main world. Um, and this involved getting karma out. So you have to get your karma out quite a bit, cause a, a bit of destruction to different places, but there, there uh, are seven main areas that you have to go to get the distortion to appear. Um, I'm going to name them off here. Just so you guys know. So the first one is uh, at is uh, near Saint Dulce. Uh, Saint Dulce. Um, I'm also actually going to put the link to what I followed, so you guys can get a, a full-on clear look of uh, wh where each uh, area is for the distortions. Because I followed a guide uh, to help me out a little bit there. But uh, the first one's at near Saint Dulce. The second one is downtown Amataya. Um, the third one is in uh, Tatara Desert, um, and and all these areas as well are kind of labeled out on where you have to go um, on the, the link. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. But uh, the third one was Tatara Desert. The fourth is Woods Forest. The fifth is Brocken Term. Um, the sixth is Yaptolaka Ravine. And then uh, just head to the castle gates and you basically get the seventh done, which we did. Um, and in each area, you have to f battle. You'll, you will have to come probably like level 70 plus because I am now level 70. Uh, these, these fights were pretty tough. But you will have to battle an editor, uh, which is who you have to kill to get the distortion to appear. And you might have to battle a witch or two. Uh, certain areas I had to battle. Um, I battled Nazaria. I had to battle uh, Gelato again. I had to battle. I think I actually had to battle all the witches from the Witches Council, except for. Uh, I don't think I battled the the fairy princess one. What's her name? Purple Pier. P uh, purple tip something. Purple peel peel. Yeah. Or the Tar Witch. But um, you battle a couple of the the main witches. Um, and you battle, uh, after you battle them, you battle an editor. So you gotta be on your toes for that. Uh, for each fight, I use the mini knight summons to distract them. And then I just did my thing, dodging and attacking, running in, attacking, running away, dodging, attacking, running in, in attacking, etc. But keep the mini knights coming, because they, they distract them. Uh, really made almost all the fights easy. <laughs> but, um, that was the guise of what this chapter was about. It honestly felt tedious. That's why I skipped it. Uh, but they were th those were the main story elemented parts that were in this chapter. I, if you wanted to see it, um, I'm sure there's a play. There's people 
who actually do play uh, the full playthrough of those, um, I just felt like they were kind of pointless runarounds just to make the game feel longer um, than it was. I mean, they, they were interesting, uh, the story elements and parts, but some of them, like, uh, when Metali was in the hospital, like it made, I, I didn't understand where that came from. Um, also, uh, what's her name? C- Cigaro or whatever. Gelato's sister is like a little girl for some reason. It's it's weird. I don't get it. But let let's continue. Sorry about the long explanation. We now uh, have everything put together. I beat the last editor, and um, we should be able to get. T- uh, our world back on track. Arlecchino! <laughs> oh, Master Leo. I thought you went to the capital. Metallia! But anyway, Arlecchino, how many days has it been since I said I was going to the capital? Hmm? How many days, you say? It has not yet been half an hour. I see. Time has rewound a little, as expected of me. Or should I say, us? <laughs> Like you pulled off a perfect job, Hundred Knight. Did something happen? Visco died. <laughs> wow. What did you say? <laughs> but she should be fine now. Mm-hmm. But our enemies still exist. We have to hurry, Hundred Knight, to the capital. We gotta stop Lucini. Oh, Master Leah's figure. Even back in this world, it seems like I can inhabit your body without a problem. Hundred Knight, we'll prevent that tragedy. We're going to save Visco. And the witch. And the witch. <laughs> and the witch.
Oh. What? None of us are injured, so after we talked about it, we decided... <laughs> they had a group hallucination. So they're not dead? So... What? Oh. There he is. Been a while, Master. How was your journey to another world? Huh, you little voyeur. Ah, please, that makes me sound so naughty. But you disappeared along with the others so suddenly. I was very worried. You certainly do a lot of interesting things. Is that your power, Master? Or a hundred nights? Does it matter? You better not have touched Visco. Touch Visco? What are you saying? As always, she's being carried all over the place by Father. He seems to have taken a liking to her. Huh? The hell's that mean? What do you mean, Master? Didn't you see? Oh, found her, my lovely Leah. <sighs> God, getting to be seeing Leah again is such a fortunate thing. Yes, Visco. Visco was never dead. <laughs> Are you being worried about Visco? Leah, you will be added as her friend in due timing. Fua ya 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 ya. What? Visco? Visco hasn't revived? What are you saying, Master? I always meant to tell you, but your head is too clogged up with fanciful stories from books. You really need to learn how to separate dreams from reality. Otherwise, you're putting your safety and sanity at risk. Meh. <laughs> how unfortunate for you. Uh, I I failed. The actions I took in my world meant nothing. No, I just want you to remember this. A human's life will not be returned if you just mess around with the world they live in. Why? The soldiers at the gate were alive, so why not her? Oh, so she is dead. Don't screw with me. What was... What was the point of all that? God damn it. But I won't give up. If that method failed, then I'll just find some other way to bring her back. Master, I feel like you've changed. But... Yeah, as usual, the future's the same. How disappointing. I told my mother and my tribe to be patient while I went out to become a witch's apprentice. Your apprentice. Not like that matters now, though. Gah! <laughs> no more time for talking. I am the false king Toto Pepe. Evil witch going against me, the king. I say, you must be struck down with justice. Hundred Knight, beat this idiot up and nab Visco. And do it fast, damn it. Yes, ma'am. In that case, I'll just watch this fight from my special box seat. I'm gonna kick Lucini in the face. That's what you do. Oh god, I forgot about him jumping. Can you stop? Come, my army. He jumps way too much. It's really annoying. Wow, he killed them all. That quick. Take it off. Oh my god, of course. I wrote I just Dude. 
Ooh, I like. I put some sort of element on him. Awesome. Ow. Please don't die now. Oh my god, dude! No, shake it off! Wow! I'm dead. Yes! Oh god! Oh my god, that was close. Got him. Toto Pepe you see here, such a wound such as this isn't even considered a wounding. <laughs> what an arrogant idiot. Can't you use your astrology or whatever to see your dark future? Or can't you find anything about me because I am one with the Hundred Knight? W what a stupid thing you say! Lana's ability to reading stars is perfect! Right, Lana? Uh, as I thought, I can't see anything. It's not because it was a different world. It's because she's one with the Hundred Knight. Damn, so she's become like a... So now we're just one huh? being. <laughs> Where did they go? No, father. They probably know... What? They couldn't know it. Oh my god, he killed his whole tribe. This how to make the bell plant blossom, huh? Oh. Wow. And that's how he got the bell plant to get us to make him our apprentice. He killed his whole tribe. 100 night. Hold on. I sense a pillar nearby here that we never made bloom. It turns out there have been two pillars here all along. I thought that wasn't possible. But I figure it's because what an evil douchebag that freaking Lucini is. We have to find it. Listen closely, Hundred Knight. Without defeating the Protector, we have to bloom the pillar while it's still hidden. We've never done this before, but we have to do it now. I know you can do this. In order to save Visca, we have to do this, Hundred Knight. Make the damn thing blue! I got this. Huh? What is going on? What is this? Could they be? <laughs> oh my god! Using the pillar to heal. He became the protector, and the pillar was healing him. What? They but we really found it. <laughs> pillar? The protector's power. I struggling. Yeah, that's what you get, you bastard. Princess Visco, I, I, I'm giving her back! As he continues to mumble, Toto Pepe removes Visco's corpse from the wrap on his back. Visco! 
My life. Oh, you're not getting that. Helping no, me. no. Me. Get the hell out. She really spared him? Natalia casts a quick protective barrier over Visco's corpse. Help. Jesus, look at her slumped over like that. Oh wow, he just killed his dad. <laughs> Why are you so surprised? Come on, Master. It's the same thing you've been doing this whole time. Say what you want, but I'm reviving Visco. I won't waste my energy by taking your life. So, it's fine to leave me to do whatever? I don't care. You know I can see what'll happen, right? I've watched this situation unfold hundreds of times. Visco's revival will never happen. You'll wait the next hundred days praying, and then you'll just go back to the swamp and live like you used to, isolated and alone. When an astrologist like me says it, it's absolute. But how lucky for you, Master. Her life expectancy was 100 days. When that's up, you'll be together with the Hundred Knight forever, so... Well, I guess this really isn't the time to talk to you about your life expectancy. Whether or not you kill me, the world is destined to crumble pretty soon. I don't care what you decide, really. Kill me here if you want. It'll put me to rest just a little bit sooner. Death is too good for him. <laughs> Everyone who can see the other worlds seem to share a death wish. Ryubins and I have pretty different backgrounds, but... <sighs> whatever. I don't like it. Don't like it? Say it all you want, but that's just how things are. We can't do anything about it. How much effort do you think I put into changing the future? And it was all a waste. All of it. All we can do is bow to and obey the future. <laughs> Am I supposed to be moved by your bragging about your pathetic efforts? What? <laughs> the world will crumble. Then let it. If it really will crumble. Her revival is all I care about right now. Let's go, Hundred Knight. Wait! You're leaving me like this? What about my punishment? You won't kill me or do terrible things like you Let always do? Let it eat do? away with you, add it, you. Genie, you're no Damn. longer my apprentice. Don't let me ever see you again. That's all. Understood. But before we part forever, I want to tell you one thing I know. What now? It might be able to help you revive Visco. Great Witch Utica's location. Huh? Don't bullshit me after all this! I'm not. She's alive. <laughs> but I wonder how old she is. She's underneath us right now. There's a sealed swamp underneath the castle. Beyond the barrier seal is Utica. <laughs> Utica's there. The real deal. The Great Witch? Yep. There he is! The beast man from earlier! What? Capture the intruder! What happened to me? Your Majesty, this area is still dangerous. Someone take his Majesty to his chambers! Sir! Master. Can I ask you one last thing? What if I wasn't an astrologist? And just a huge fan of witches who didn't know anything about the world? Do you think we would have been able to be friends? Who knows? You can't know something like that unless you try. Is Damn. So... Thank you for everything. If you can... Um... No. Never mind. Goodbye, Master. Lucini utters his farewell as he cloaks himself in fog and vanishes. <sighs> Visco. Hey, Visco! Your master is here! Enough of this crap! Open your eyes already! Visco. You really haven't revived yet. We'll just have to try another way. If I take Toru's last words to heart, I can't use any mild methods to go about bringing her back. Maybe... If it's the real Uruka, 
She might know a way to bring Visco back. Okay, Hundred Knight. Gobble up Visco and keep her in your stomach. But, um, don't digest her. <laughs> Obviously. I can gobble up uh, this chick? The Hundred Knight opens wide and swallows Visco whole. She's now stored safely inside its warm, cozy stomach. I'll revive you soon. Just you wait, Visco. Let's go, Hundred Knight. To the swamp underneath the castle. Alright. Well, first let's save it before we go and do that. God, I'm, I'm glad to be out of that world, though, because those dark colors were really, really bothering me. Right one. Yes. Actually, no, there's a pillar down there that I should have grabbed. Which I can do now, but still kind of wish I grabbed that beforehand. Oh, wait. Am I going the right way? Just have to make sure. So Utica apparently is here. Is she the one that's sealing that swamp? Utica is beyond here. As always, let's do this, Hundred Knight. We couldn't get past it before, but now we might be able to break the seal. No, we have to. Come on, shatter it to pieces, Hundred Knight. Ah, <laughs> nice. We did like a flying kick. That was pretty cool. Sealed prison.
<clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Sealed prison. Everything is level 70, 70 plus. I'm scared. <laughs> what is that? Why is that like. I have that mark there. Ow. Ow. Can you let me move? Thank you. There's gotta be something to that. I can't be there and not be something important. Just here. Ah, okay. False walls. been through hell to get this far. Utica better be able to help us. I forgot that these guys catch up to you like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
snack in there for 100 night. Keep on going. God, how far down is she? Oh, there's a... Okay. Pillar. Yes. Monsters need to stop grunting at me. I don't appreciate it. Is there really nothing in here? Ah, I'm snowing. Dead end room. This guy's here. Will I need him? That was the question. Because now we have this to deal with. a lot of things. Okay, okay, go. Take it, take it, get out of there, get out of there, hurry. Ah, really? Stupid poison. There's one here. There it is. Drop it. Yep, <laughs> drop it. No, I didn't mean to grab that. I don't care about one of those bombs right now.
Okay. I'm gonna save it too as well because I made it so far down in this place and there's no way I'm gonna run through that again if I by a chance die from like a boss or something. There's the steps, right? Oh wait, there's no steps. Right? Oh, I can jump from over there. I didn't see that. Go. Ooh, this one's red. Go away. I actually kind of want to kill this guy. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Ow! Damn it. Out of there. Okay. Yes, another pillar. Okay. Set it. Uh, return to world map. I save it again? I'm tempted. You know what? I'm gonna do it.
All right. Which Uruka? But this, th this feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling you would make your way here in time. <sighs> Is it really you? Old Hag! The old Hag, right? You were alive this whole time! I thought you died, you old <laughs> hag! <laughs> Stop calling me that so much. I am still alive, old and haggard. So the old hag is Uruka! The legendary great witch Uruka! I always had a feeling, you know. You're correct. This old hag is Uruka. Uruka, yes. Great witch Uruka. <laughs> She's so you giddy were to alive see her. All along. <laughs> the old hag is Uruka. Uruka is the old hag. Amazing! What an amazing coincidence! Yes, yes. You've gotten so big, Leah. Have you been taking care of yourself? Yeah, I'm doing freaking great! You look the same as ever. But forgetting your duty and coming to a place like this. How naughty, Leah. I have so many stories for you. Wait. I must ask, what are you doing here? Oh, right. I wanted to learn something from you, so I came here. I need to revive someone. Teach me how to do it. I tried my own methods. But nothing worked. Using the Hundred Knight's power to move across parallel worlds, I tried to piece together the different parts of the worlds in an effort to rebuild what happens in ours, but... Just this one person. She's the only one I couldn't revive. Oh. So you've begun to do things like that. Leah, go back to the swamp. Now. Hey, it's fine, old hag. I don't even need the crystal now. Right now, I'm one with Hundred Knight. One with Blackie. <laughs> Being away from the swamp for a little bit like this is... That's not the issue. Your health is not my concern here. Huh? You don't understand, do you? Jeez. Blackie hasn't told you anything? Blackie can't talk. Hmm? How am Blackie? I supposed to tell her something? I cannot sigh enough. Blackie... Did I not say to tell your master? I couldn't talk. Did you forget on your way home? No. No, this is different. Leah, did you take that child's name? Huh? What? Oh. In the beginning, to make the contract, she was supposed to take something from me. Well, well yeah. Forging a new name is the basis of any contract. Without doing that, it isn't possible to tie this thing down. Even you should know that, old hag. Oh, heavens. Then the hundred knight who can fly between parallel worlds is no different than an ordinary witch soldier. Oh, maybe I was the one who didn't think this through. Wh what? What are you talking about? I've no choice. I'll just tell you here. Swamp Witch Metalia, you must fulfill your duty. Use mana and purify the swamps. Purify them all. Purify the swamps? What are you saying? If I do that... Yes, if you do that, all mana will be lost. And she said I'm an ordinary soldier, so... Her taking my guy's name turned him into just nothing. Is that what it was? Your existence, by extension, will also be purified from that is simply what must be done. It all stems from that time. It all stems from that time. When Nike was chopped up and the swamp was born, it all started then. My fate as well. What? 
are you telling me? You want me to... disappear? Correct. We need to purify the swamp. If we do that, Nike cannot revive. I don't get you at all, you old hag! You said I'd become a great witch! That I'd be like the Uruka I admired! You even gave me my new name, didn't you? Metallia! <laughs> What's this? Your body may have grown, but inside, you're still the same what? girl. You must hurry and return home. N no! You're kidding me, aren't you? Tell me wow. you're joking, old hag. Such lousy manners. I can't even leave here to teach you how to properly behave like a lady. What is that Malia doing? Come out, Malia. I know you're here. As if responding to Utica's voice, a white rat appears from behind some rocks. Huh? So the vomiting whore was here. But, Master, I... It's hard to listen to you talk like that. Return to your original form. Utica slaps her palms together as she chants a spell, removing Malia's curse and returning her to her human form. What? Now then, Malia, let's hear an explanation. What happened to the Forest Witch's teachings? Master, I... I can't let Leah purify the swamp. Hmm? What are you saying? After all you've been through? I'm the one who couldn't handle her harsh fate. Not Leah. Not letting her live. Not letting her die. Agitating her, provoking her to use her strong magic in order to purify the swamp. That swamp. Nibble Hene is hardly at 10% strength. Any more than that will begin to endanger Leah's life. Isn't this enough? You speak as if she has already fulfilled her role as the swamp witch. But Malia. You know as well as I, there cannot be a single drop of that swamp in this world. To live in the swamp, and to die with the swamp. That is her fate. That fate is not what Leah chose. It has nothing to do with her. I just wanted to set Leah free. Damn. Is that why you used Arlecchino to try and kill Leah all those times? <laughs> yes. What?! That was all you're doing? Shut up, Leah. Leah is my daughter. No, my sister. Or maybe just a friend. I don't have a family. But she's an existence that is just as irreplaceable as you are, Master. No matter how much she despises me now, I'll never forget the Leah from our youth. Bringing up such boring crap now of all... Well, well, what a trite little story. Witches always live in solitude. You had talent, but as I suspected, it was my failure for only teaching Wow, me the Utica witches. is a B word right now. Why didn't you brainwash Leah to accept her duty while she was young? I left you more than enough resources to do that. This also means you have lied to me about all that Arlecchino reported. If even the slightest amount of swamp remains, Nike won't die. There is no way to kill him besides purifying the swamp from this world. Nike still leeches life from Medea. If he begins to move again, it won't just be our world that will crumble before him. To fail to realize such a simple truth, and to continue holding on to these foolish soap opera stories, even my power is nearing its limits, but that's fine. This is a good opportunity to punish your inadequacy by having you perform a task for me. Do it, Malia. I refuse. Of course you'd say that now. What a pity. What is she doing to her? Utica folds her hands together and a foreboding light surrounds Malia, causing her to topple over. Witch's contract. I command that Forest Witch what? performs her promised duty. I will say it again, Malia. Do it. What are you?
you doing to her, old hag? <laughs> Go, this bastard. Punish this bad girl who refuses to listen. No! Oh god! Alright, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, with a friend. Utica is a liar. She's evil. Um, we bet we take on Malia on the next part and go from there. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you then. Bye.